say shit like Thomas the Train. And <laughs> DJ Sky, you do kind of feel Thomas the Train. I'm not even going to hold you. There's two, there's four, there's six, there eight. My girls and my gays, my straight boys, my baddies. It is me, <laughs> the Godfather. And I'm back with another Baddies East review. You guys, I must say, I must say, episode six, she really wasn't giving. She really wasn't giving. We don't really have much to talk about. So, y'all, just spare me a couple minutes of your time, right? Just spare me about. 10 minutes. Give me give me 10 minutes because these bitches didn't do much on this episode, so I'm not even going to hold you guys and keep you guys too long. Give me 10 minutes. That sound good to you? Okay. So, if you're new around here, hi, my name is Ko. Be sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Click that bell to be notified of all my latest updates. And let's get right into it because they really wasn't giving much this episode, okay? Alright, so we start off with the last episode. Stop that. We see DJ Sky and her big ass Timberland boots decide to run up on Anna Mac. Like, I'm just bewildered and bamboozled on how you run up on somebody who's at a disadvantage not knowing you about to run up and you still be the person getting your hair pulled, getting your shit tugged. Like, make that make sense to me, Bassett Hound. Tell me how you ran up on somebody yet you don't want to get in your wig pulled. Girl, DJ Sky, you just cannot fight, bro. Like, just go to bed. So Sky getting a confessional and it's some um, she dragged on her throughout the mud. Sky, baby girl. I don't know who the fuck dragged that makeup across your eye and gave you that little wing you got up there. On the house, I'm like, I'm up. Whoever did that wing, girl, kicked them to the curb. They are your worst enemy. I don't know who put them sparkles on your shit. I don't know who put those diamonds on top of your shit, but you look hella sleepy. You look like a basset hound. You look very much basset houndish. You look like Trina. Like, and that's not a cute look, my, my good girl. Like, get your shit together. I mean, you look drunker than the Cooter Brown by the face. Like, that's bad. So then, Anna Mac is upset because they allowed her to run up on her. And they don't want to give her her fair one. So, Anna Mac just started roasting these DJ Sky. I mean, calling her all types of bitches. Saying shit like Thomas the Train. And, <laughs> DJ Sky, you do kind of favor Thomas the Train. I'm not even going to hold you. There's two, there's four, there's six, there eight. Like, you kind of you kind of do give Thomas the train. Like, you kind of do. You kind of do give Thomas and friends. I'm not even going to hold you. You kind of do. So, they got to screw up the ground again. And, y'all, it was, it was pathetic. Like, the second round of this fight probably was the most pathetic thing I've ever seen this season. But that's because security kept jumping and sickening asses in trying to stop the fight. So, at this point, Anna Mac was wet. Her clothes were dirty. Like... She just been trying her best to get to this girl. She had no shoes on. Anna Mac just really running through the field trying to get to DJ Sky. At this point, DJ Sky goes in the house. Anna Mac not stopping. Anna Mac wants that feed. She not getting the sprinter van until she get that feed. And I respect it. I'm not getting the sprinter van either. If y'all let a bitch sneak up on me and run up on me and expect me to kumbaya and be okay and go to the next city, y'all got life and bullshit all fucked up. Y'all must not be outside for real because I don't know who would allow that to happen. So... Rolly tells DJ Sky, you know, she not she not gonna stop. She wanna fight, she wanna fail one. So just come on outside, go and give it to her. And y'all could tell by the face DJ Sky made, like, she didn't wanna fight again because she knew she was gonna get her ass whooped. Like a fell one, a fell feet, DJ Sky was gonna get tagged. And she knew that. She knew she can't fight. Like, how you got the biggest boots on? You walking with Fucking moon boots on, and you didn't stomp a mud horn at Anna Mac. Anna Mac is literally a cool short. Like, you didn't even smoke her. So, before we get into the last round of fighting, Sky took it upon herself to step up, you know, go inside of her pimp, and decide to tell T she didn't like the way T acted with her the night before. Now, I told y'all before, I did feel like T was doing a lot. I did feel like T was doing a lot, but. Scotty, you waited till the cameras came around and all eyes were on you to try to make a scene. So, T and Scotty started going back and forth over the stupidest thing. Basically because T hollered at Scotty. Scotty, I get where you're coming from, but it wasn't even that deep. The girl just hollered at you to, like, stop talking about it and you felt disrespected. But in that moment, you let it go. Like, you wanted a moment so damn bad. Like, you wanted a moment. And T definitely gave you a moment. T was calling you yuck mouth. 
Tea called you strawberry. Tea will say, look at your skin. But you need my dentist. Tea started roasting the shit out of Scotty. And Scotty, the fact that you look like a fool every episode, this shit needs to be studied. Somebody put this as a college curriculum. How do Scotty look like a fool every episode? Scotty. Scotty with a body. How do you look like a fool every episode? It behooves me how you make yourself look dumb every episode. It just will never fail with you. You let a girl tell you your teeth fucked up. You give him yuck mouth. You didn't even want to fight. Like she roasted you in your face and you still didn't even hit teeth. You ain't want to fight for real. You just wanted a moment. And you definitely got one. Okay. So finally, we got the last round of Anna Mac versus DJ Sky. So DJ Sky walking down the steps, right? And Rolly's dumb ass gonna tell DJ Sky, you better kick the shit out of her too. You better run up and kick her ass. Kick the shit out of her ass. You better kick the shit out of her too. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, bitch, if DJ Sky kick connects with Anna Mac, she will break Anna Mac. So they squaring up or whatever. And the first thing DJ Sky does is a kick. Everybody in the background is looking like, girl, what the fuck? Like, all you doing is kicking. These kangaroo ass kicks. Like, that's all she doing is kicking. Girl, Anna Mac whooped DJ Sky's ass. I mean, was, mm, mm, we all seen it by now. Was wailing on DJ Sky. Then they fell in the bushes. DJ Sky, you're literally a DJ. Bitch, go spin the records. You barely good at spinning records. You can't even fight. Who taught you how to fight? You must have been inside a lot as a child because, baby girl, I mean, Anna Mac is literally a cool short. How y'all letting a cool short smoke y'all out every time is beyond me, but I love it. <laughs> Alright, so after they finally fought, we finally got the got we finally got this show on the road. All the OGs got into the PJ and all the newbies got into the party bus. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like they're treating Sky funny. And when I say Sky, I mean from Black Ink because Sky is an old bitch. You know, she's been in this game longer than most. And she's iconic in a way. So the fact that Natalie is really like shitting on Sky in a way because she don't want Sky with her is saying a lot to me. But you will take Mariah Lynn. That's ass backwards if you ask me. But guess what? Sky, you should be happy to be on that party bus because guess what? Y'all had way more fun. They, they in the PJ just being miserable and, and talking about mess the whole time. Like, damn. Like, do y'all have anything else to talk about? The girls in the, the girls in the party bus had a good time. And so while the girls in the party bus on the road, the party bus caught on fire. Y'all, I don't know what's going on with Zeus production this season, but horrible Airbnbs, no utensils for the girls to eat on, a party bus catching on fire. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, it make me think y'all really did spend all the money on drugs. Like, like did y'all snort the money up? Like, did y'all snort the production budget? Like, what is going on? This not making no sense. Nothing is not making sense to me. Like, it's just giving... It's giving bare minimum, but barely bare minimum. So the girls part of us caught on fire. You went to deal with that for a while. And Sky did something so funny to me. I had to just get put that in my notes. Like Sky literally grabbed the bottle of Hennessy. I fuck with this guy. I'll take you anywhere to any party. And when it's time to go, you get the liquor. You can come with me anywhere. So after all that was done, we go to, we transition to another Sprinter van. And we see Krishan and her minions. Long story short, you guys, I basically beat this horse. With a stick at this point. Like, I'm so tired of talking about it. Like, we all feel a way because of what Krishan allowed to happen to Tzatziki. Like, I get Tzatziki didn't stay in on business. You know, she wasn't your yes man. But the fact that you allowed your friends to jump on her. Although Tzatziki did say that she was going to fight you pregnant. Do I think she was going to fight you pregnant? No. Like, you got tons of tons of security there. Who in your right mind would let that happen? Anybody with morals and values would not let Tzatziki jump on you and you heavily pregnant with her niece or nephew. Like, I don't think that would have happened at all. I knew that wouldn't have happened. Like, Tzatziki would have got nailed to the cross if that did happen. But long story short, Krishan feels like this is not the place for her to be at. At this stage of her life. At her stage of her pregnancy, she feels like this is not the stage for her to be at. And we've been saying this since day one. Bitch, we feel like you shouldn't have got on this show. You say everybody using you for clout. But I feel like, Krishan, the fact that you get on this show heavily pregnant, it was like you needed clout. That's just how I feel because... Anybody in right mind at eight months pregnant going on nine months about to hit their due date would not dare be on a reality show with Buku full of fucking nigger trades going on. Like, who in their right mind would do such a thing? Like, that's dumb as hell. And then Janet, dumbass in the background, and then some, she ran up on Will Vicky because Tasiki didn't do it. No, you ran up on Will Vicky because Siki and Mariah got your ass on their ground. And Marsh, you couldn't say nothing. You just sit in that corner and laugh, sweetie, because guess what? 
your ass whooping is a national treasure at this point. We not gonna ever let you live that down. You want to be a yes man and you got your ass beat. So just remember that next time you jump for Krishan. Krishan must be paying y'all bills or giving y'all powder to snort because I don't know nobody that would have jumped in a line of fire and got that ass whooping. I don't know nobody. So Krishan leaving the show. Oh, well, I wish I could say I feel bad for that. I don't. She shouldn't have been on here in the first place. Good luck to you and your baby Krishan. Toodles. So out the blue, Saya started getting emotional. Um, She was saying because she's back on the East Coast. She's back on the East Coast. It was making her emotional. So, and she thought she'll be able to handle it, but she can't. And long story short, she ended up leaving the show. And I kind of felt bad. I was like, Sai, just come over here. Let me put that pussy on you. Like, come on. I'll cheer you up. Let me give you this pussy. You'll feel way better playing with me. And I, I, I felt bad seeing Saya go. But Saya was the background character. She really wasn't giving much. You know, another spot that could have been held by somebody else. I'm just playing. All right, so we finally pull up to the Philly house and whoever Airbnb account this was, the girls got it right. Zeus gave them a little coin and they got a nice ass Airbnb mansion, you guys. It was real beautiful. It was real judge. I loved it. Like the lights on the outside, it's just, it's, it's giving me in the future when I get my coin up. It was given to me. I loved it. I'll see that anytime. And long story short, we all commiserated, sat in the living room. We sat in the living room and commiserated on everybody leaving. We've lost Saya. We've lost Will Vicky fake Christian ass. We lost Krishan heavily pregnant ass. And who else? And we lost T for the night because T is sick. So we down four girls. It's time to bring in a replacement. So I'm thinking, okay, they're going to bring in Roly at this point because we've seen Roly on the show. So Roly's going to come. So Natalie goes outside and wait for her next hoe to pull up. She outside, you know, dancing and shit, you know, signaling for the hoe to come over here and get on the whole stroll, get on that corner. And out comes somebody with some black air forces. So I'm like, okay, I see what type of time you on. Okay, cool. You hit a thump. Come to find out it was Scarface. I don't know Scarface at all. I don't know her, but from what I see of her, her looks are not up to par. Her looks are not up to par. I don't like it. Like her, her teeth is chipped and shit. Like... The wig was put, I, 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 Scarface, get your shit together. I'm not going to go too in on you because that's your, you, you came at the tail end of the episode. I'm not going to go in on you too much. But from the preview of the next episode, it looks like you're fighting T. What's that about? What's that about? But overall, you guys, this episode was, eh, it was, eh, I could have skipped it. I feel like it wasn't fundamental. We seen DJ Sky get her ass whooped and we seen Scotty get roasted and flamed by T. And basically a field trip the whole episode. So if y'all skip this episode, y'all wasn't missing much of nothing. But that's all for Baddest East, you guys. So be sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Click that bell to be notified of all my latest updates. And I'll see y'all in the next review, you guys. Bye.